Oh man, we're back with another cool mod kit here for the Nightingale. You know, we've previously done some previous kits and man, I'm telling you, you know, for almost 60 bucks and it doesn't do what you expected and it actually makes the blaster worse. You're just like, oh, do I want to do any more mod kits? But I did pick up this one here by Worst Warfer. Check it out on Etsy. Again, we bought the STLs for this because we wanted to print it in our own kind of cool colors. And look at that. Whew. Um, this kit is everything that the previous kits we're not you know i was mentioning in the previous kits i'm like man the back bends and all this stuff and this kit is exactly what you want when it comes to an smg uh kit for your nightingale so let's take a look at this thing in the hands real quick look at that whoo it's a nightingale but it looks like an smg it has all the same features as your nightingale right that quick shooting the light snappiness you know kind of performance here which i think is awesome it completely changes the look of this nightingale and you guys know me i got a lot of nightingales and i wanted to switch it up we do have our own little mod kit here which i thought was kind of cool but these just make it even cooler i'm like oh my gosh my mind is blown with some of the things that they uh did with this kit now there are a lot of different variations to this kit you do not need to have the whole top rail you don't have to have the top rail over the front you don't have to have the bottom rail here you can kind of print and choose what you want to do and you can also print the stock that comes along with it i didn't do that i just opted for this lightweight nerf stock here which i think is great i think these fit really really well but look at that oh man this is like super compact and it feels really, really good. Uh, printing wise, it took, I don't know, roughly about a day, a day and a half. This, this is a pretty large piece. The install is fairly simple. The only suggestion that I would say is in the back here, um, when you print that, uh, the Nerf block back here, is to make it so that the screws that go through are three millimeter screws. And then on the inside down here, open up the hole so you can put actually the three millimeter nuts. So you're not going from PLA to PLA with screws. I'm like, oh gosh, it might come loose sooner or later. And I don't want to pit this whole uh, top piece. Now, the only other thing I could recommend guys is this front piece. When you guys are putting it together, you know, you might have a little bit of a gap right here and you guys are like, oh man, that's not, doesn't look good. What's going on? Just make sure that you take the screw or the screw port that was on the Nightingale stock and make sure that underneath the rail here, there's a kind of a diagonal screw that goes in and kind of sucks that piece together. That is about it. You're going to use the same screw hole that you did with your original Nightingale front battery cover, and it's going to go up through this front piece here. So that's the only thing that I could recommend. But man, it gives you a lot more opportunities here for different battery types as well. You were kind of limited on this on which batteries you can choose, but with this, holy cow, this opens the door to a lot of different battery options now giving you a lot more room up there in the front, which is stinking awesome. But look at that, whoo, it looks so, so good. Again, mine has the stock the sight as well as the grip, which don't come with it. It's just the blue uh, kind of parts that you see here. But again, super easy to print, absolutely no problem. If you look at the old Nightingale and this Nightingale side by side, yeah. I mean, they look the same, but they look completely different. <laughs> and I, I, again, I love the Nightingales, the, you know, the let, people that I let use the Nightingales, they love them, but I think they're gonna love this thing. I cannot wait to show this thing off at my next war, which is gonna be well, it's gonna be the same day that I'm posting this video on Saturday, but check that out. It looks great. Let's just get out and let's just go shoot this thing. Um, what you're gonna notice here is, you know, the Nightingale shoots, I think, great stock. There is no, you know, no issues with it. Um, and with this kit, it shoots even better. It shoots the same straightness, the sh you know, same FPS, but look at that. Now you can get this thing really tucked up in your shoulder and really aim, you know, kind of down your sight if you're going to use that. And if you don't want to, man, just throw off your stock and just run around with it just like a handheld SMG. I think that, I think that looks awesome. To be honest, I might not even run that whole blue top piece. I just want to run that, uh, that front piece and just, you know, just hold it like that. But still, I didn't have any issues with the stock wobbling or anything like that. It feels really good. And yeah, you can see about 40 to 45 feet away is that alien that I'm shooting there. And just no problems. I mean, it just shoots like a regular Nightingale. So again, go back and watch it if you want to watch it. You can see, you know, there is no flex. The only flex that I'm having uh, with this is the flex in the stock, but there's no flex here like some previous kits that I had where I'm like, my gosh, it's too much flex. This is really, really good. Again, a lot of different options. If you don't want to use this stock or use a stock with the end strike attachment, you can use the stock or 3D print the one that they, you know, that they offer there. I haven't tried it, but it looks pretty good. But man, overall guys, this 
is freaking awesome. It is well worth it for the STLs. Uh, you can just print, you know, again, your colors that make it look good. But man, look at this. Look at that in the hands. Just so, so good for really close, you know, tight combat. But maybe again, you can just hop back to this. And that's the great thing. If you don't like this after a little while, absolutely no problem. Just, you can throw your stuff back on and you're good. You didn't have to cut anything, do anything, nothing. It's just ready to go. Or don't even use this top and maybe stick with your old one and just use this front piece to extend your battery and have a little grip down there in the front. I think that would look awesome. Just like a small little grip, but I don't know. I think this is by far one of the coolest kits so far that I've seen for the Nightingale. Uh, priced great for the STL and it looks great and does not hinder the performance of what you're getting. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know what else to say. This thing freaking rocks. I say go check it out again. I'll leave a link in the description as well as there. Tell them Xbox Games sent you. I don't know. Maybe he'll message me and say hi or something. I don't know. But uh, yeah, there's my two cents on this kit. A plus. I, I, got nothing, I got nothing bad to say about it. It looks freaking awesome. I'm definitely going to print uh, another one and probably... I don't know, some other color for this. And so you can have kind of two of these. And I don't know, I think that would look kind of cool. Anyways, let me know what you guys think. Thanks again, Fox fans. Whew.